So some of you are here because you've received value from our videos. Some of you have told me I've watched you since 2007, 2017 or 2014. That's a long game for me to play. Now here's something that Hermosi said, which I love. If you wanna make a million dollars, give five years of value. Do not ask for a single thing. What happens is every time you ask for something, all right, so you give value, if you give value, ask, you drop to the bottom again, you start over. You're losing goodwill. The more goodwill, the more value you create for other people, the bigger the ask can be. So you give value, give value, he said five years you can be a millionaire just give for give value for free for five years whenever you want to ask for something they will sign up i'm not going to presuppose but i think there may be one or two people in this room even though it's not officially announced are considering that thirty-six thousand dollar mastermind why would you ever spend thirty-six thousand dollars with an idiot like me because i've proven over time consistently because i give value and i'm not saying like here's a webinar sign up for this keep selling you all the time are you aggravated by people sell to you all the time you ever been in a webinar where it's actually going really really well you're getting value from it and then they're like please sign up for this there's a two week and there's bonuses blah, 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 and you sign up and the scarcity blah 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 what happens to your sense of goodwill and gone even though they genuinely gave me value at the beginning that's why i hate those kind of funnels and probably why we're not getting as many sales as we should i don't want to participate in that kind of marketing because it destroys my brand it destroys people's perception of us and it's one of the reasons why we're able to grow as fast as we were because we stopped selling and it's why I had to break up with my former business partner. He wanted to sell all the time. That's not me, that's not my style, it's not my vibe. Uh, Anthony, can you stand up? Can you help me do a demo here? Anthony is a client. I'm the vendor. And I push Anthony, what's gonna happen? What, what happens when I push Anthony? Anthony, he's gonna push back much harder than I can handle. Like what I was just doing with you, right? Watch this, what if I just stand with Anthony and say, what are we looking at, friend? What is the problem we're talking about? Do you believe that identity systems are important? No. What should we be doing instead? Increasing productivity, new sales, marketing range. Wonderful. Of those, which is the most important? Which one will make the biggest impact on your bottom line? Sellers. Sales. Sounds like you need sales help. Okay. Maybe I'm not the right person. Cool. Is that okay? Yeah. Let's save some money. Don't spend money on identity system. Correct. Okay. Wait. Are we fighting? No. See how it's done? Yep. Okay. You see the difference there? I don't want to fight with him. I don't want to fight with any of you. But what you do is you're, you're just pounding against him trying to win a fight that you will not win. The only thing that clients will do is what they already want to do. So my job is to find out what they want to do. In the case of Anthony, if identity and design does not matter to him, I'm not going to do that. The problem is if that's all you sell, you're screwed. The good thing about what I do is I can solve other kinds of problems, so I'm not interested in selling you anything. In fact, I think I serve Anthony better by telling him to save money and spending it smartly with someone who does sales training. And then perhaps Anthony, after getting what he needs, he might say, you know what? Our identity system sucks. Maybe I'll call up Chris because that's what he does. You see the difference? Because what we're trying to do always, we're trying to transact in the moment and we just keep losing a long-term client because we're not sure we'll be in business tomorrow. That's why we're selling for today. So we have a, what? what is that called? The scarcity mindset. We're afraid. I'm not afraid. I'm gonna play this game really long time. Hey, before we get too far, I just have a really simple ask. I'm not here to sell you anything, but it would mean a lot to us just to help with the algorithm and how it runs to leave a comment right now. You can type in what city you're from, type in your name, type in anything. It'll help other people find this video. And if you're truly getting value, don't forget to subscribe. In the case of Anthony and this fake role play here, he will not be a customer today. I'm totally okay with that. He might tell three other people. Look how powerful this is, okay? I'm gonna tell you a quick story. This is a real story. She now works for us. Before she didn't, I was coaching her. She's like, Chris, I'm tired of feeling like crap. I'm like, what do you mean? So clients call me and they just run over me. I don't feel like they respect me. They don't trust me. And I just feel so bad. I said, here's what you're gonna do. I want you to find a client you absolutely do not want to work with, that you would hate their guts. She was all have them. So she called me back two days later and I told her what to say. When your client calls you, I want you to unsell yourself. I want you to serve the clients because you don't want to work with them. I want you to retreat and see if they follow. I want you to recommend other people, other options and do what you can for that client. Client call her. She's like, you know, I just want to let you know up front. I'm booked. I can't. And she just diagnosed the problem and she gave her some good suggestions and then the client left. The client then later called her and said, I just recommended you to two friends. And she said, Chris, for the first time in a really long time, I ever felt respected. I felt wanted and I felt like they we're going to allow me to lead the engagement. All of you are chasing your clients and trying to act fakely as a generous person, but you're acting in your own self-interest. That's the problem. So try the exercise. Find a client you don't want to work with, that you would never work with, and serve them. Listen, be curious. Don't lead with bias and assumptions and see how they treat you. It will be a night and day difference.